Hey everyone, in this video we will talk about EBS pricing and how what are the factors that impact the EBS pricing. So first one for a straight off is the region as you can see here depending on the region that you select your EBS volume to be in the pricing will change. Um, so that's the first one then you've got whether uh, you're basically using something for storage or high IOPS. So depending on what you uh, select as your storage volume uh, the EBS pricing will differ. Then we've got that you, you're charged for snapshots. So you can create snapshots which get saved in S3 or you can create snapshots. So the more, the more snapshots you create, uh, the higher pricing. And you can see here is the first one, number of instances. And uh, then it's also about the snapshot frequency. So that also is one more factor that gets added in. Then um, you're also charged for a fast snapshot restore. So if you want to create a new instance from, from an existing snapshot, you're charged for that. And um, then with the EBS APIs being exposed, depending on the thousands of requests per month, that is another factor which factors into how, how much uh, price you have to pay for EBS. So I think that's pretty much it. Um, there's no other uh, factor, but these are some of the major factors which contribute to the EBS pricing. I hope you find this video useful and thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and like my videos if you enjoy what I'm doing. Uh, let me know if you would like me to take any specific topics. Cheers. Bye.